Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your 2023 energy reading. Take only what speaks directly to your soul and what doesn't speak directly to your soul. Release it and let it fly. Let's see what did 2022 show you. So what did 2022 show Sagittarius this year? What did 2022 show you, bring to you, maybe even teach you? What did 2022 bring, show you, Sagittarius? It brought you, it showed you the Nine of Fire, which is the Nine of Wands. Not to give up, to protect that which you've created, to have courage, and to believe in yourself. So I feel you could have had somebody steal your work, create a fake profile, and it made you stronger. You learned how to deal with it. And you learned how to not allow it to disrupt your peace. I feel you got some solid advice from someone that really just made a difference for you. And now it has brought you the Ten of Fire, where you're the Ten of Wands, releasing that burden. Because you realize it was too much work to worry about it. You accepted help from others. You took this advice and it worked. It helped you. Your life was out of balance because you let it consume you and it started to cause stress-related health concerns. I just feel it brought you anxiety, it kept you up at night, and you found a way to release it. And that's because you are the queen of fire. You are the queen of wands. You are confident, you are warm, you are intelligent, you are graceful, and you were able to stretch your wings and fly, and you didn't underestimate yourself, and you found independence and creativity with having to deal with it, but deal with it in a very positive way. So what is the overall energy surrounding you right now as 2022 comes to a close? So what is the overall energy that's surrounding Sagittarius as 2022 comes to an end? We have the sun. Archangel Uriel is telling you that there's a happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So you have something new that you are working on that you are going to be launching in 2023. I feel by March of 2023, this new project, this new product, this new service, whatever it is, is going to be launched by March 2023. I feel by the spring equinox, it's going to be released. And this is going to shift your world. And Archangel Michael is telling you that you will be reward it. It will be successful. It will bring you abundance. And because it will be a job well done, you will have joy, contentment, and gratitude and the path towards enlightenment. So I feel this is the missing piece in your business, in your job that you have been looking for. And it's also going to bring you unity. Archangel Sandalphon is telling you that traditional viewpoints or methods, your beliefs, your truths are what's going to keep you aligned to this. Spiritual organizations are going to take notice. You could be doing seminars, whether they're in person or online, being interviewed for magazines. Seek out mentors and like-minded friends, and maybe even you will find that they will open the door to success for you. So I want to get you guidance on how you can transition from 2022 to 2023. So let's get guidance for Sagittarius on how to transition from 2022 to 2023. Your guidance is sweet goals. Stay focused on the vision that you have. Do whatever it takes to make it happen. Challenges may come, but don't quit. The sweet taste of victory is just around the corner. And I feel when you get challenged, even if it's just your mindset challenging you, spirits playing the song for me, Make It Happen by Mariah Carey, when you believe in yourself enough and know what you want, you're going to make it happen. And that's when you're going to have that happy outcome. So let's see, what does 2023 have in store for you? So what does 2023 have in store for Sagittarius? What does... 2023 have in store for Sagittarius. So two cards flew out, so I'm going to take them. 
We have the star. Archangel Jophiel is bringing you happy times. Make positive, optimistic, long-term plans on the right path. The star card is about universal alignment. So you're coming into universal alignment. And that universal alignment is bringing you the eight of fire, which is the eight of wands. Events will be moving at a fast pace. Delays are over, many things happening at once. So things are gonna be moving very quickly for you next year. And the eight of air, which is the eight of swords, is telling you that the illusion of being trapped, and it's mostly by your fear, the lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action, that's gone. It's being replaced with life experience. You have a significant life event that has caused you to get a more positive mindset, to be that queen of wands, and that powerful revelation that led to change, and it's time to spread your wings and move forward. And overall, the two of fire, which is the two of wands, is telling you that you've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. Be in your element. Be that fire sign. Confident. Follow your passion. Be a leader. Be the leader of your life. Be the creator and the manifester of your reality. I do hope that this reading for you, Sagittarius, has brought you clarity and guidance. If this resonated, drop a comment below. Let me know how it resonated for you. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Please make sure to hit the bell notification so you can be notified when new content is posted on my channel. If you would like to book with me, the information along with all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube are in the description box below. Have a magical 2023 and I will talk to you soon.